Hello, my name is Dead Cell of Infected Productions, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to sync the music with your video clips. Okay, as you can see, I've just got a small um, Vegas project set up here. I've just got a song and a video clip from Counter Strike that I um, captured earlier. As you can see, the actual video is much longer than the audio, twice in fact. So, the first thing I need to do is just copy the video file so it gives me flexibility on the video and then delete it so it keeps the audio but the video is gone and then now that you've copied it by doing Control and C you can paste it back in Control and V now the reason this is for is because in Counter Strike I recorded at 60 frames per second um, and when I do this it's going to come out about half speed so you're going to have half the speed of um, video but the same exactly the same speed of audio so I just need to speed it up to double to counteract this and the way I'm going to do this is hold down control on the keyboard when I hold down control you can see this little wavy line at the edge of your clip when you hover the mouse that, uh, then you just click and drag so that it's the same length of your audio clip and if I zoom in that's pretty good okay so next thing I'm going to do move over first and the effect that I'm trying to achieve here is a stop start frame motion uh, the best way to explain it was probably like a slideshow at the beginning when the song comes in it's got a very distinctive beat that I want to get uh, the motion to I'll, try, I'll let you hear the song first so you can get a rough idea okay as you can hear at the beginning it's quite a distinctive beat so what I'm wanting to do Zoom in first of all to the start of the video clip, select it and deselect the audio, and then I'm just going to move the line across. And then on your keyboard, I'm going to press S. All this does is just splits the clip into two. So as you can see, you've got two two video clips now. And then about the same distance up, I'm going to do it again. Press S on the keyboard. Okay, so I've got three clips now. Okay, now this is when it gets a little bit tricky. Um, beginners probably have no idea what I'm, what I'm on about but anyway right click on the video go to insert remove envelope and then choose velocity all this does is it gives us great flexibility on the speed that I want to play the video at and in this case it's a stop frame motion so it's going to be zero and the way I do this is right click on this the green box at the left hand side go to set to and just enter zero which will just as you can see down the bottom right, it's just going at no speed at all, it's just one frame. Then again, same idea, insert, remove, envelope, velocity, and then just, if I can click it properly, slide zero. So I've got two, if you look down the bottom right of my screen right now, you can see it's just two frames. Okay, doke. And next thing I'm going to do is just move these two frames into the beginning of the soundtrack, where you heard the, uh, the beat come in which is roughly about there I'd say. I'm just going to play it back so I can see if I've got the right timing at all. Okay, that looks okay. Um, I'm just going to bring the video back in, the end of the video, and then the rest of the audio. And see what it sounds like now. Okay, as you can see, um, it does the two frames at the beginning, and then it's a little bit late on the op shot. As you can see, using my mouse, this is roughly on the waveform of the gun gun sounds, where the op shot is going to be shot, and this uh, large spike of wave is going to be where the uh, music gets loud, the last beat. So I basically just need to speed speed this up so it's at the same time as this these two peaks of wave. So what I'm going to do first of all is make another uh, one of these, a third one. So I'm going to zoom in and on the keyboard with the video selected I'm going to select S and as before, it's the third time I've done this, insert, remove envelope and then velocity. Right click on the left hand side and set it to zero. Okie doke. Now I've got three frames. If you look down the bottom right you can see the three frames being played through. Right, just to speed up, this is where I, this is where the op shot comes in. This is where the music comes in. So I need to speed this up, this gap. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this little bit here, or as much as possible. And then if I move it up, it should be roughly at the right time. Okay, let's see what this sounds like on a plate now. Okay, now it's starting to look really good. Um, the last thing I'm just going to do is on the second up shot, it's a little out of time, it's just a tiny bit slow. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on this last clip here, this bit here, and just at roughly where the op shot ends, you can see it getting kind of quiet on the sound waveform. I'm just going to hit S, and then just before the second op shot, which is about there, as you can see, I'm going to hit S again. I've now got three separate video files, and now I'm just going to speed this second segment up a bit. Oh, sorry, first of all, I'm going to just make the audio file slightly shorter by just cutting out the unnecessary bits here. Okay, and as I've told you before, just do control to get this little wavy line and then just move it in a bit. Maybe about... It's about there, should be okay. And then just move the end pieces in. Okay, doke. Right, let's see what that sounds like now. <laughs> 